tip brought to you by EnvisionCAD. In this tip, we'll be taking a look at how to create an exterior boundary for a train model when the data being used is from a survey field book. We're going to start by creating a new survey field book from the Project Explorer here. I'm going to just do a right click new and create that new field book so I can import the raw data. The field book name that I'm going to give this is just going to be Topo Shots. And I'm going to go in here and import a file. The file that I'm going to bring in is Fieldbooks Raw and a TXT file with the common delimited format point number northern easting elevation code. I'm going to bring in this uh, Topo Shots TXT file and hit open. That's going to import the raw data for me and create the uh, planimetrics. And as you can see here, it's also creating the terrain model for me at the same time. Now you can see here in this uh, data set, I do have some concave areas where the triangles are going across these areas. And also an area down here where I've got some shots that really aren't part of the terrain model. I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. And we're going to, going to go to my properties and change the feature definition to something that looks a little bit better. So I'm going to go terrain display um, design triangles. So that a uh, little bit cleaner on the screen now. And I need to clean up uh, this bad feature down here. What I want to do is take a look at that culver shot there. Take a look at the properties, and I don't want to determine it by the feature definition. I'm just going to say do not include. By not including it in the train model, then the triangles to that point are now removed. I also want to delete the triangles in these concave areas, but in order to do that, if I go to Civil Tools, Survey, Train Model, I do have the ability to delete triangles with the Edit Train Model. But if I come up here and try to utilize this tool, delete triangle by line, if I come and try to select that, it says it's not an editable terrain. The reason being is the terrain is being generated from the survey fieldbook file, and it can't be edited both by as a terrain model and being uh, created from the survey fieldbook. So what I need to do is deactivate the fieldbook file. And to do that, I go back into my Project Explorer do a right click on default and deactivate the survey processing rules. By doing that, that locks it so that the train model is no longer can be um, generated by the fieldbook file, which allows me to go and edit the train model using the train model tools. So I'm going to go and delete triangle by line. Uh, follow my prompts here. I'm going to uh, identify the train element and then create that crossing line. And as I come across here, you'll see the uh, triangles that can be deleted. So I'll zoom in there and uh, get rid of those triangles. I will do the same on the other side. And now those triangles have been deleted. So now this is a more realistic model, train model that I'm looking for. What I want to do is take this exterior boundary that I'm seeing on the screen right now and create a graphical element out of that so that I can later import it. So again, with the train model, I'm going to go and create train model boundary. And what I want to do is extract the graphic. I have other options here, but what I want to do is actually get the closed shape from the uh, microstation. So I'm going to locate the train model. So on the screen here, just pick the train model. I'm going to extract the graphics. I'm going to accept that. And what it did then is created that complex shape for me. Now what I can do is I can go back to my fieldbook file and you can see that I can reactivate the survey processing rules and it will revisit all the elements. Do I want to continue? I hit yes and all my triangles come back. But I still have that exterior boundary in my microstation design file that I can add as an exterior boundary. And to do that, what I want to do is again under train model go to add features and I want to locate the train model which will be this one here and the element I want to add is going to be that exterior boundary. So I'm going to come in here and locate that exterior boundary here and accept it and right click when I'm done and the feature type that I'm going to be bringing it in is going to be boundary left click to accept that and now that's cleaned that up so now 
I've got the field book file, but also that train element has got an exterior boundary. For more tips and training on open roads, please visit our website, envisioncad.com. Thanks for watching.